Hey everyone, it's Greg again from D-Link, and today I'm going to be showing you how to configure your router with a cable internet connection. Now, the first thing that we need to do is log into the router. Now, if you're not sure how to do this, please check out our other videos. And in this example, we're using the DIR826L router. However, if you have a different router, the setup steps are identical. Now, the first thing we need to do is click on the Setup tab at the top and click on internet on the left hand side. From there it takes you into the internet connection settings where we're presented with two different options here. So we have the option of just running the internet connection setup wizard which will walk you through each step of configuring the internet settings or you can manually configure it. So in this example we're going to run through the setup wizard. Alright we're just going to click next to begin. Now the first thing it's going to do is ask you to create a password for your router. Don't get this confused with your wireless password. This password is for accessing the router configuration. Okay, by default there is no password on the router. So you'll notice here that it's full of dots. So I wanna set a password so no one can log into my router. So I'm just gonna delete all the dots and enter in my new password. Once I've done that, I'm gonna click on the next button. From here, I wanna set up my time. So I'm gonna select my time zone Click next. The next step brings us to the actual internet connection setup part of it. So here you're asked to select the type of internet connection that you have. Now if you're not sure, in the drop down list here we have a lot of the different available internet service providers. So all you have to do is just select yours. Now if yours is not in the list, you can opt to just manually choose which one or which type of internet you have. If you're not sure, you'd want to check with your internet service provider. But normally, if you have a cable connection or a cable modem, you're most likely going to be DHCP connection. Or if you have a DSL modem, it'll be PPPoE, or if it requires a username or password. Okay, but because we're using a cable internet connection today, I'm going to be choosing the DHCP connection and clicking next. All right, next brings you into some DHCP connection settings. Most of the time, you don't have to make any changes here. Just go ahead and click on next. And then that's it. So now we're just going to click on the connect button. And the router is going to reboot. Now, depending on the router that you have, you may be prompted to, to start a reboot, or it may just give you a countdown. Okay, but once it's complete, it should bring you back to your home page. Okay, and then that's it. So the way you can confirm if your internet is connected or not, if you click on the status tab on the top, under the WAN section here, you should have an IP address. You can also confirm just by opening up your web browser, your homepage should come up. Thank you for watching and for more helpful videos, please check out support.dlink.ca.